There's a lot of mobile editing apps out there, and if you pick the wrong one, you could find yourself wasting time learning an app that doesn't even allow you to make the videos that you want. And if you think it's as simple as picking the most popular app, you'd be wrong due to recent changes that have happened over the last year. So in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the top three free video editing apps and ranking them based on most free features, best for short form videos, best for long form videos, and easiest to use. And before we dive in, I wanna talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Epidemic Sound. Now, what you may not know is that a lot of the music built into CapCut, InShot, and VN is copyrighted content, which means if you use their music in your videos, it could prevent you from monetizing those videos. Epidemic Sound solves this by giving you access to over 50,000 music tracks and over 200,000 sound effects that are safe to use anywhere online. They also have a brand new feature that allow you to copy and paste any song from Spotify into the Epidemic Sound search bar, and then Epidemic Sound will try to find music that sounds like whatever artist you've put in. For example, let's take the Medallion Calls song, which is the opening song that plays in Pirates of the Caribbean, and we are going to copy this song link head over to Epidemic Sound and paste it in the search bar and see what comes up. Now let's see if this sounds anything like the opening of Pirates of the Caribbean. You can start soundtracking your content with my link in the description. I've been using them for over five years, so it's easy for me to recommend. Now let's start with the first ranking criteria, which is most free features. Now, if you were to ask me this question two years ago, number one, hands down, would have been CapCut. As the app originally started out as a completely free app with no ads, no purchases, just every single feature was completely free. But then the creators of CapCut said, hey, we wanna be able to make money from this app. So they started charging for new features that were released and that makes sense you know all the stuff I've had for free stays there but all these newer features I'll have to upgrade to use but what they've now done is they've started to take features that were already free previously and started marking them as requiring to have a paid subscription and this has gotten so bad that even basic features like being able to remove a background from a video or being able to add captions on your video are now only allowed for paid members. So in good conscience, I can't put CapCut anywhere else other than last place for the most free features because now the app has become so restricted that I can't even use it anymore for making edits. For second place in this category, I'm gonna give it to VN as the majority of their features are completely free to use. I can add captions for free. I can do all the other different functions. There are some things that are left to premium. And the only other downside is that you can only have 100 projects for free and then you'll have to start paying money. But I don't think most people are gonna break the, the 100 free projects anytime soon. But overall, I can do most of the things I wanna do like add music, text, etc. Uh, add layers, different things like that. And first place in this category is gonna go to InShot because they have a lot of the modern features you expect in an editor, like removing the background from a video, having multiple caption variations that you can add, along with being able to add music and text effects and different things like that. The app does have a premium version and there are some features in there that are locked to premium, but I feel like I can do most of the edits I want without actually having to pay for the software. And also if you are on the free version, once you export your video, you will get ads or while you're you're editing, you'll see ads kind of pop up above or below the timeline, but I can live with that because I'm trying to edit videos for free. Now for each of these next rankings, we're just going to focus on the number one editor for each of the categories. So starting with best for short form videos, I'm going to give it to InShot. Having the captions, having to remove the background from a video for free is necessary for short form content. Now VN does have auto captions, but they're more like auto subtitles where it's just, here's what you're saying on screen and it's not really done in an engaging way. And then CapCut has to take the last place on this. Even though CapCut has way more features and you can make way more engaging edits with the software, you can only do that if you pay for it. If you're on the free version, you're not gonna get access to all those awesome effects. So you can't really do much 
much with it. Moving on to the best for long form video category, I'm actually going to give this to VN. And one of the main reasons why is because VN in their timeline actually shows the audio bumps of when you start to talk. Now, this is super important and useful when you're editing a video, because then you can see where there is no talking going on and you can easily scroll ahead right when you're about to talk and be able to trim your video up. With both InShot and CapCut, you don't have that on the mobile versions. So you're sitting there trying to scroll ahead and oh, I'm starting to talk and trying to line up the spot where you're going to trim without seeing the audio bumps is really difficult. And then also for long form content, you're not really removing the background. You don't really worry about auto captions and things like that. So overall, you're still able to add text. You can add images and GIFs and things like that. You can add music, all the things you expect for a long form video, VN can do. And for our final category of easiest to use, I'm gonna call a tie between InShot and VN. As I find both of these apps are super simple, they, they kind of edit in a different way. VN's timeline is much different than InShot's, but overall, once you just have a solid understanding of both apps, very easy to get in and make good edits. And if you're actually trying to learn any of these apps, I have tutorials for these linked down below in the description or appearing as end cards, as you can see right now. If you wanna click over there and learn any of these editing apps, feel free to do so. Hopefully this video has helped you choose an option.